Well hello and welcome to today's video. Today we're talking about network connection of older brother MFC wireless printers. There's a new problem which has come up which is um, becoming a bit of an issue of customers of Telstra and Telstra Big Pond. Brother Wireless Printers, pre-2014, uh, have a wireless modem in them, and this is the wireless modem. So this particular wireless card cannot connect to Telstra's latest um, modem. And here is the offending modem. It's the Telstra Smart Modem Generation 2 with voice backup. So this is what the modems look like. If you're based in Australia, you're familiar with this style of modem. It's mainly used by Telstra, but it's also used by a couple of other carriers. So it's a, um, a Technicolor modem. They're actually a pretty good modem. They're, um, they're rock solid. They rarely fail. Uh, but they really don't like older Wi-Fi devices and in particular older generation brother printers. You will never be able to connect an older generation Wi-Fi brother printer to one of these modems. On the flip side other carriers like to use these modems the Netcom wireless modems. Uh, these modems will connect to any older generation brother printer flawlessly with no problems whatsoever. So typically the way the service call goes is we get a phone call our, uh, we've just had NBN put on at our home or business uh, Telstra have given us a new modem the Technicolor modem and our brother Wi-Fi printer no longer works but we really like this Wi-Fi printer because it's really reliable in fact this model the MFC 7860DW is one of the most reliable monochrome laser printers ever made there is no way of getting this printer to connect to one of these new modems. The only way you can do it is by plugging in a network cable, you know, your blue or your yellow network cables, white if you're lucky, directly from here into the ports in the back of the modem. It is the only way you'll get older generation printers to work. Your printer will still be wireless, you can still use it wirelessly, you can still use it with your phones, iPads and such, but you will now have to run a cable from the printer to your Technicolor Generation 2 modem. The other way is you just simply use your new Technicolor modem as a modem only and you plug in your old router that you're used to using with this directly into one of the network sockets on the back of the new modem and you just use the new modem as a new modem you ignore its Wi-Fi um, uh, network capabilities it's the only way you will get an older generation brother machine to work with the new modems. 
Um, I think that's just about covered it. So there's no other ways possibly of making it work other than going out and buying a brand new brother printer. If I could change this wireless card for a new modern wireless card that will also get around this issue. Um, it just seems to be older modems that connect at um, 11B because um, these modems can't do 11N uh, and they don't support 11G Wi-Fi connections. Um, uh, yes, I think that's about it for today. Um, it's just a shame that this this problem has come up with these new generation Telstra modems. Um, I don't know if Brother's doing a bit of a tit for tat because there's another issue where if you get your Telstra um, invoice, so the the uh, if you've elected not to get a paper invoice from Telstra. The Telstra Big Pond at the end of each month and you've elected to get an email if you try and print that Telstra invoice on a new brother printer um, the new brother printers will hiccup and throw up an error and they refuse to print Telstra invoices <laughs> it's quite quite amusing um, we had one the other day we sold a brand new brother printer first thing the customer did is tried to print their Telstra invoice account um, off for that month and of course the brand new printer refused to print the invoice and that's a well-known bug now as well I don't know if it's a bit of tit for tat from brother where Telstra won't let brother's printers print so brother are no longer letting Telstra print their invoices <laughs> it's quite funny um, yeah so that's the technical problem for today and um, yeah, the only way to solve it is with the cable, unfortunately. A network cable um, plugged into there. And incidentally, when you plug in the network cable, you will have to disable the Wi-Fi on the screen here. So when you plug a network cable in, it doesn't instantly start using it. You have to go through the menu. You have to scroll down to network you have to scroll down to network reset hit ok one reset reboot one yes let the machine reboot and now the cable connection on the back of the printer will start to work so the Wi-Fi is now turned off and we've gone back to using a cabled connection with this new Telstra modem. It's the only way you can make these older generation printers uh, work on your network now. Um, yep, yeah, so I hope that uh, helps a few technicians out there and a few users uh, with this um, new issue. Thanks for watching.